Hey, what's up, my little title toes? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, <laughs> if you are Kim Kardashian, oh my God, Kris Jenner literally needs to bust down that door and take your phone away, y'all. Kim has officially lost it, but baby, it is so funny to see. Do you know Kim is literally trying to push her made-up boyfriend down our throats? Do you know that every single rumor that was about Pete playing her, including their secret rendezvous and hookup, she is now trying to say her imaginary boyfriend Fred was the one, y'all. <laughs> Listen, you have to realize a couple of things before I tell you this lunacy, because you're going to laugh, but you have to realize what was going on in that time. What's up, y'all? My name's Tisa. I am the Gossip Oracle. I keep track of all this petty mess so you don't have to. <laughs> so around that time, right, Kim had literally gone through this whole thing breaking up with Pete. It was fresh off the breakup. She thought they were getting back together. There were rumors that they hooked up in a hotel and then Kim got into an SUV the next morning and tried to go visit him on set. All this stuff happened. Plenty of people verified it happened. Kim didn't deny it. That's one of the reasons Kim was so shocked when Pete started dating Imrata. She thought they were working towards something. Meanwhile, Pete was like, the only thing we are working toward is me humiliating you. Kim had also introduced her kids to Pete at the advice of her psychiatrist or a child psychiatrist or whatever. We all know that was Cap. Anyway, he dumped her shortly after that. Now, why is that so funny? Because most people that were around in that situation, sources said that Kim was basically begging for Pete to get out. Now, some people are saying, Kim would never beg Pete for anything. Yeah, but those are the same people that said that Kim would never even touch Pete. And she did. Once you tongue kiss somebody with Doritos stuck in between their teeth and they literally ate Doritos three days ago. I mean, do you have any other, like, are there any other levels? Like, are you serious? Look at like the scarecrow of Mrs. King <laughs> and she's Mrs. King. But anyway, right. Kim was also trying to make Pete jealous, but it also turned into her trying to backtrack and make it seem like she was never even into Kim, Pete. Even though we saw you bragging on late night TV, we saw you with the tattoos, we saw, we saw, we saw. Okay, listen, let me know if you want me to actually make a video outlining it. Let's get into this latest thing because baby, you can't tell me Kim is not on the internet making burner accounts. You can't tell me that Kim is not on her burner account, commenting in her comment section, posting things and saying stuff. Because this literally is giving, bo bo what is it, Bonisha, pick me. A shout out to Sprinkles. Kim, somebody send Kim, Sprinkle, Sprinkle, uh, TikTok or YouTube channel, because Kim needs it. Sprinkle, Sprinkle. Anyway, they said... Pete Davidson may have deja vu hearing about Kim Kardashian's date night. On October 2022, an October 2022 report claimed the Skims designer rekindled their romance, returning to one of their favorite New York hotels two months after officially splitting. But actually, Kim revealed on Keeping Up with the Kardashian that she was using the New York City haunt to date a guy, to for a date with a new guy. So she's calling to and she's calling him Fred but you guys she gave details <laughs> listen to how stupid this sounds yo Kim is down bad or somebody doesn't tell her to take this L side note the keeping up with the Kardashians recap uh, season 3 episode 3 will either be up tonight or tomorrow morning also you guys hit that like and subscribe button you know it's YouTube I'm trying to grow okay fine I'll get back to work anyway um, she said What's so funny is my friends wanted me to meet someone. So we go to New York. Your friends, girl, it was Paris Fashion Week. Everybody, including your kids and Chicago, dressed in that bedazzled two-piece to, to match Auntie Chloe, right? Everyone. Y'all paying attention? Everybody was up in Fashion Week. You literally went dolo undercover to New York. You did not have any friends with you. How do we know, Kim, every single time you're out with your lifers and girl squad, you have paparazzi everywhere. Kim has paparazzi everywhere, right? She calls them. 
And even if they saw them in New York creeping in a hotel, do you not think a paparazzi wouldn't have gotten the picture? Kim, stop it. You went undercover and all your life are friends. Shut up. What y'all go to New York and hide under paper bags? Look for like, like your pizza rat grabbing a slice of pizza? Shut up, Kim. Anyway, she said you were in New York, stayed there overnight on your private jet and then flew out the next day. Shut up, Kim. Anyway, but get this. She said, what's so funny is my friends wanted to meet, wanted me to meet someone. So we go to New York. She, this is what she was telling Scott. That's like my spot because there's a private room downstairs. Yes, Kim, thank you to welcome to New York City where every restaurant, unless it's like a BYOB, has a private dining room. Shut up. Oh, so she said that's my spot because there's private dining room downstairs. But then on the internet, it was like Kim reconnects with Pete at this place. They specifically said that Kim had a liaison with Pete Davidson at a New York City hotel. I believe they said it was the Plaza, if I'm not mistaken. Is the Plaza your spot? Now, the Plaza does have room downstairs, but is that your spot? When Scott asked, was he there? Kim replied, no, Pete wasn't there. But it was a place that I would go and have my secret dinners with Pete. Now she's laughing off the rumors, joking about her ex. He's probably like, I know what she's up to. Kim is literally making up a fake boyfriend to make Pete jealous. What is this, a year after they broke up? I'm being serious. Didn't they break up a year ago? And you are now releasing, literally making yourself look stupid on your show, making up a George Glass. If you don't know, that was Jan Brady's secret boyfriend and it was hilarious because Jan Brady was supposed to be like the popular pretty one like Kim imagines herself to be shout out to Brisiaga y'all she literally is pulling a George glass and she thinks that people are falling for this again this is the only thing that makes me think that Kim might be worth a billion dollars because you know how rich people get into the like super rich people get into their bubble where everybody's just like oh my god you're so awesome you're so this you're so that and it's all cap Yo, who? I really want to know who. But like, were the production team just looking at Kim Tomat? So, what else did you guys do? Oh, really? You have a secret boyfriend, and he's like the biggest model in the world, but he lives in Romania. And you guys only meet up at summer camp. Oh, really? And you don't really like, you can't really post a picture because this modeling agency will get mad and drop him. So you have to just what sneak girl anyway she said she said a favorite meeting place is not the only thing she took away from a nine-month romance with a 25 year old comic yo Pete got Kim down bad but how does she not feel stupid watching this playback who does she think she's fooling even in the scene Scott was looking at her like what anyway she said you obviously learn from every situation and the one thing I've learned from my last situation was the media made me feel like I was like a in a very serious relationship so quickly. I just want to sneak around a little bit. There's nothing wrong with wanting to sneak. I just don't want to date one person. This is my year. You guys, I can't. I can't. I can't. Listen. I Listen, then Kim went on to talk about her standards. Let me just say this before we go because I thought this was funny. And this actually is really sad because it actually shows how fearful Kim is about like nature taking its course. I mean, listen, right now her face is chopped and screwed within an inch of its life. She, I don't care what y'all say without Photoshop. She is one second away from looking like the elephant woman from looking like she's one step away. Kim is trying to fight nature. Her whole identity is being the hottest, the sexiest, the nicest body. The fact that with all Kim's success, she still like is in this patriarch princess role of trying to be the prettiest, hottest. And don't get me wrong. It's not just because she's vain. Kim realizes what a lot of people realize. Beauty is power. Attractiveness is power. But money is also power. Intellect is power. 
Kindness is power, but the only power that Kim seems to want to have is the power that is predicated on you being young, hot, supple body. Kim is holding on for an inch of her life, but Kim, you're not going to be able to hold on forever. This is sad. Kim literally said at 42, right? About her standards, about her potential partners. They can't be too old. I don't like the old thing, but I don't like the really young thing either. Kim, you are 42. First of all, I'm not an ageist. Don't get me wrong. Listen, if you are lucky enough to live to 150, that is a blessing. But Kim, you are 42. Someone 10 years older than you is 52. Someone 20 years older is 62. Are you getting what I'm saying? Not too young. Kim, start dating people that are 35. Anyway, she also, Kim is, all, like, listen, she also is trying to play like she is just so meek, right? You know, we'll talk about that in a different video. Let me go, because I just got to laugh. Kim and her fake boyfriend. If someone doesn't talk about it, right? It, if someone does not tell her she is making herself look stupid, I know Pete is sitting there rolling her eyes. Oh, you going out sad, Kimberly Noel Kardashian. You are going out sad. Woo, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, sprinkle, sprinkle.